Hello, Christ is risen. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias, St. Eric and Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Saturday, May 8th, 2021, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 3, verses 11 through 16. In those days, while the healed lame man clung to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in the portico called Solomon's, astounded. And when Peter saw it, he addressed the people, Men of Israel, why do you wonder at this, or why do you stare at us? as though by our own power or piety we have made him walk. The God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorified his servant Jesus, whom you delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate, when he had decided to release him. But you denied the holy and righteous one, and asked for a murderer to be granted to you, and killed the author of life, whom God raised up from the dead. To this we are witnesses, and in his name, by faith in his name, has made this man strong whom you now see and know and the faith which is through him has given this man this perfect health and in the presence of you all and today's gospel reading is from the gospel of saint john chapter 19 verses 25 through 28 and chapter 21 verses 25 24 and 25 at that time standing by the cross of jesus were his mother and his mother's sister mary the wife of clopas and mary magdalene when Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. And to the disciple he said, Behold your mother. And from that hour the disciple took her to his own home. This is the disciple who is bearing witness to these things, and who has written these things, and we know that his testimony is true. But there are also many things which Jesus did, which were th every one of them to be written, I suppose the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. So today in our church, we remember a miracle that happened at the graveside of St. John the Theologian. A holy powder or manna emitted from the tomb of John the Theologian once he was buried there. And so there are certain days in the year when we remember these spectacular things that happen. This is a good opportunity, I think, to consider the sanctity of people. In the Orthodox Church, we do believe in the sainthood of people. We believe in saints. We have many of them. I am named for St. Gregory of Nyssa, for example, who was a great bishop in Cappadocia in the fourth century. But in this case, we remember John the Theologian, and so you hear the scripture reading that was done today. John was the only disciple who stood at the foot of, of the cross of Christ as he was dying through his crucifixion. And when Jesus saw John and he saw his own mother, Mary, the Theotokos, he set a bond between the two of them that remained until her passing. So St. John is remembered very fondly for many things. So when we think about sainthood, we look for evidence of their sanctity. One of the things that can happen is sometimes someone invokes the name of a saint and miracles happen. There is a saint that is known from more recent times, Saint Nectarios, and many prayers have been made in the name of Saint Nectarios and those prayers have brought about healing. In the case of Saint John here, we have something special emanating from his grave Another example of sanctity is when you see uh, someone who has died after many years. Obviously, there is corruption that happens, decay. Sometimes all you see is a skeleton. But sometimes God blesses these people with incorruption. Now, incorruption means there is no decaying. There is no odor. There is no evidence of the person having died at all. It's as if they are sleeping. We have several examples of that. St. Raphael Halloweeny, another more recent saint, is also understood to be incorrupt, that he did not experience the decay in the grave that many do. And there are many, many other examples of this throughout history. And so that's one way that we see that God has blessed those people. And if God has blessed them, then we can count them as saints. What does saint mean? Well, it doesn't mean a whole lot, to be honest with you. We can look at that person and say, through their example, we can live holy lives. If we follow what they do, 
chances are we're going to be okay too. So that's one thing that we can look at. Of course, we can look at their miracles. We can look at their own lives. Peter raised people from the dead. It is very often obvious that he is blessed by God. And so we could certainly say that he's a saint. But most importantly, what sainthood means is apart from the common. It means to be separated, to be holy, because all those words mean sacred. Even that word means to be separated from what is mundane and normal. And so when we think about who our saints are, we see through their example an unusual devotion to Christ. Now, all of us are called to that unusual devotion to Christ. Many of us just live our lives, and that's fine too. There's nothing wrong with that. Saints don't have a special place in heaven, but we say that we can assume that they are in heaven. For the rest of us, you know, God willing, we'll be in heaven too, in which case we'll all be saints. And that's exactly one of the points that is made in Hebrews, that everyone is made into a saint or everyone has the potential to be a saint. So today we remember St. John's grave and we look to him and see him as a man of great holiness and sanctity. So we see him as a saint. But we also have the opportunity then to reflect on our own lives and ask ourselves, are there things that we can do to follow Christ more closely and therefore establish sainthood for ourselves? May it be blessed and may St. John and all those who came before him and after him serve as our guides and inspirations so that we can live holy lives and join them in Christ's heavenly kingdom. Christ is risen. And may God bless you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Thank you very much for joining me, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.